G'day, it's Rob here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to uh, look at uh, how you can how you can get Wi-Fi internet connection uh, into your workshop um, in a situation where you basically basically get no signal. Um, if you look at my garage here, we're looking back towards the house, and in the distance you can see the house through the open doorway. And as you can see, the, the garage has got big steel doors right across the front. And the whole front of the shed is all steel. What that means is to try and get a signal to come uh, from the access point of the house into the shed and uh, have a reliable link is, is pretty difficult. Um, if I was to use my laptop in the shed, I would get absolutely no signal whatsoever with the standard laptop antenna. So I'll show you a way that you can uh, beat the gremlins, and uh, it won't cost you much. And uh, I mean, in this situation, the signal has to go from the access point in the house through two solid red brick walls, 100 feet to the shed, past... Um, huge big steel doors and then to the laptop. Now the only signal area that, uh, that you actually can use is the open space through the door. If you had a window there the signal would pass through the window but in this case you would have to open the door to actually get any signal whatsoever and a standard uh, laptop antenna just won't pick it up. So I'll show you what I use um, on the occasions that I need to use the laptop in the shed. Right, well here's my beaten up old laptop, my ancient old compact Presario, and you can see the Wi-Fi light is on, and there's no connection whatsoever, so the Wi-Fi is not hooking into the house at all. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these. This is a 54G um, wireless adapter, but it's not just any old 54G wireless adapter, it has the real tech uh, 8187L chipset in it. Now 54G is actually better for connecting uh, long distances than any of the other uh, wireless protocols. Um, it's got better penetration and uh, also simply you only need one antenna so if you're going to try and link, link over a distance 54G is probably your best bet. Uh, and it's cheap. I mean to buy one of these adapters off the internet like $20 you know peanuts now what I'll do is I'll hook it into the uh, the laptop um, and I'll show you how it performs using the standard antenna. Alright, so we'll do that next. Okay, we've hooked up the, uh, the little Realtek 54G adapter and we are now getting 70% signal of, well, 62 it did flash up to 70% earlier, but we're getting about a 62-63% signal, whereas previously we were getting nothing. So that looks pretty good, and all that's doing is that's the signal that's coming in through the gap in the in the open doorway. Now these are a very high power adapter um, for 54G. These are as good as you're going to get, and there's all sorts of claims made on the internet about these, um, but the fact is they are. Um, very very good little adapters and they'll be they'll be streets ahead of whatever's in your laptop so okay we're getting a good signal strength there now we'll try it with a different antenna now the beauty of these adapters is you can take the antennas off you see it's not just a standard little dongle you, the, the antennas will just screw on the end so i can swap over any antenna i like now we're going from a uh, omnidirectional which is all round um this this is working in a circular 360 degree span. We're going to put on a, a directional antenna now, a cheap directional antenna, and we'll see what signal we get with that. Okay, what we have here is a, <coughs> a 15 element, 16 dBi um, beam Yagi antenna. This is a directional antenna with a 30 degree, approximately 30 degree beam. It's like comparing a torch to a, a light bulb. Um, this is a, a focused directional antenna. You can buy these for about uh, $20, $25 off the internet. 
and uh, delivered from China. I have, I've, I've had this one for years. They work great. So what are we getting? We're getting 54, 56%, but it's pointing it in the wrong direction. So now we'll turn it around and we'll point it towards the hole in the door. And we're up to 72% signal. We'll move it over the other side away. It's pointing at the camera, so I'll bring it over here. And we'll see what we get when it's got a better line of sight. So look at that. Creep, look at that. 78%. I'll turn it a bit more. 76. So that is shooting through the gap in the door to the house. 78%. That's a massive improvement, considering we started off with no signal whatsoever. With the standard antenna, we got a, a good improvement, and we're now getting 76% with a link quality of 90%. So for $40, which is what it costs you roughly to get to this stage, you've got internet, good internet access uh, in the shed. But you can do it even cheaper. Rather than buy a beam antenna like that, you can actually make up a, a bi-quad antenna. And the bi-quad antenna is a, a simple little thing. There's plenty of plans on the internet. Anybody um, with basic electronic skills can make it. Um, there's nothing sophisticated about it. You can't burn anything out or do any damage. And I'll show you one I made, and we'll see what sort of signal strength we get from that. Here's the uh, homemade boy quad. Uh, I just got some plans off the internet and knocked it up. It was a piece of cake, um, 70%. That's pretty good. I mean, you know, <laughs> considering it didn't cost anything and you don't need to be a, any sort of electronics guru to make it, um, that's a good result. So, um, yeah, rush up some plans, knock yourself one up, and you can cut your, your link cost by 50% because you don't have to buy an antenna. I've just got my boy quad mounted in a Choc chip ice cream container. I went choc chip because it gives you better signal strength than vanilla. No, it doesn't really, but you tell people that. Um, I can't take it apart because it's all glued together and I destroy it, but believe me, they're very simple to make. It's just a piece of tin as a reflector with a little bow tie shaped antenna and it gives you um, about a 50, 50 degree beam angle back towards the uh, the access point. So it, it's quite directional and uh, but it's not as tightly directional as a as a beam antenna. A beam antenna is uh, is better in that regard but of course you don't get uh, as much um, positioning latitude. So uh, yeah, they're both good. Okay, I've now moved the antenna up, high up, um, onto the top of a toolbox and it's pointing back towards the house, the door is open, and uh, we'll see what sort of signal we get uh, in that position. Um, it will be better, I can assure you. Okay, we're now getting 86% signal strength, with 80 to 90% Link quality at 54 megabytes per second. We'll fire up the internet and we'll, uh, we'll stream some video. So what do we do? We'll make some gear lathes. Uh, website you may recognize. And we'll Run a video. Okay, I'm just going to show how this uh, setup cuts a few teeth. Um, I've scrapped the gear back lying around. As you can see, uh, it's uh, streaming uh, video, no problems. Uh, gear um, with the index and disc I've got, but this is just purely demonstration. So we've got our envelope gear cutter in an AR32 collet. You might even recognise that bloke. He's a bit of a dork. 
Okay, so there you go. You can see it works beautifully. Streaming video is no problem whatsoever. And even though the uh, access point, as I said, is a long way away, uh, the link is a perfectly good quality link. And uh, you, can, you can have internet in the, in the workshop without any problems at all. So, um, the beam yagi, the cheap beam yagi is the way to go. And not only will they go over a long distance, um, and you only need the beam yagi at the client end, despite what some people will tell you. Um, they will also, the beam yagi will also punch through red brick walls without a problem. Uh, even metal, it will go through um, mesh walls to some degree. And it's the best sort of directional antenna you're going to get for linking the workshop to the house. As I said, 54G is what you want. And uh, you want the 8187L Realtek chipset. Run it through an, e, an extension cable and you can put the antenna well away from the computer and uh, it won't be in your way and you'll get great internet uh, even in adverse situations. So there you go, I hope you found that interesting. Um, yes, internet in the workshop, even in hard uh, conditions can be done quite easily, just spend a few bucks. The whole setup would cost you about 40 to $50 and uh, you'll have a good link. Okay, see you next time.